Hello YouTube, this is Callum from English Shooting and after the popularity of the Can You Own a Sniper Rifle in the UK video I thought I would carry on that theme and something that was picked up numerous times in the comment and, and mentioned in the comments was assault rifles. So can you own an assault rifle in the UK? Simple answer, yes. Now, I know a lot of people said, oh, you went on for five minutes, it was a simple yes or no answer. Well, there's your answer. Yes, you can own an assault rifle. But let's go into the detail. And first of all, and knowledgeable shooters and experienced shooters will have to stand by and just wait this out. But let's start with what the actual definition of an assault rifle is. Not what people think it is, not what the media say it is, what an assault rifle actually is. A, an assault rifle is an, a select fire rifle. That means it has the capability to go full auto, fully automatic. You hold that trigger and it will empty that magazine. Yes, you can own fully automatic uh, machine guns, firearms, whatever you want to call them, you can own fully auto, cap fully auto capable firearms within the UK, you just need what they call a Section 5 license. Now a Section 5 license is incredibly hard to get. It's basically for manufacturers and dealers only. People that, can, that have to go directly to the Home Office and put forward their case and say this is why I need a Section 5 license. It, if you ever thought that a firearms or shotgun certificate was hard to get, a Section 5 license is you know, 10, 50, 100 times harder. So people will look at the likes of the Smith & Wesson 1522 and go, oh, that's an assault rifle, you can own that on, on an FAC, on a Section 1 license. So we're being escorted out of SHOT Show at the world's largest gun trade fair in Las Vegas for asking Smith & Wesson about the assault rifle that it sells that was used in the San Bernardino massacre. So is this the same gun that was used in the San Bernardino shooting? No. Again, going back to the definition of an assault rifle, it is the mechanics of the gun. It is the functionality of the gun. It isn't the accessories, it isn't the way it looks, it isn't the colour. It is purely down to the functionality. You can get two cars that look exactly the same. One can have an automatic uh, transmission, one can have a manual transmission. If you call the manual an automatic or you call the automatic a manual, you're just going to look like a dickhead. And that's exactly what people do when they look at a Smith & Wesson 52 or they look at a straight pull AR-15 in the UK and they go, oh, that's an assault rifle. No. Just because it looks the same doesn't mean it is. Don't judge a book by its cover. We own AR-15 style rifles and AR-15 platforms, but they are not assault rifles. We cannot own semi-automatic full ball rifles in the UK for target sports, let alone fully automatic. And if you don't know what a straight pull is, basically you have to pull the bolt manually. So you bang, pull it, bang, pull it. So it's very slow, it's slower than semi-automatic because we don't have semi-automatic. Yes, the Smith & Wesson 1522, the very scary black looking rifle, is semi-automatic, but it's 2-2. It's 2-2 rimfire, which I can assure you has less recoil than most air guns. So yes, we can own assault rifles in the UK. There are people that own assault rifles privately within the UK for, for business purposes and collection purposes. Some museums do have Section 5 licenses because if you've got a very historically significant piece, you don't want to destroy it. It's historically significant. You don't want to have to deactivate it. So the museum will have Section 5 licenses so that they can maintain that gun in its, in its true form. So yes, I knew I had to be extremely careful making this video because the term assault rifle is very provocative. But when you look at it logically, at what an assault rifle actually is, and the people that own those sorts of guns in the UK, they don't refer to them as assault rifles. They are just fully automatic capable rifles because 
unfortunately we live in a world where our governments and military require these sorts of, of firearms and people do need to make them, people do need to sell them. But it, as I said, it's incredibly limited um, and it's not a sort of, you can't just anybody off the street, even if you've got a firearm certificate, even if you've got a shotgun certificate, you can't just go, oh, I fancy getting into section five. That's just not how it works. But there you go, guys, a little bit of detail there, but overall, yes, a fully automatic, assault rifle can be owned in the UK under certain conditions. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, if you like this sort of video, please hit that subscribe button as I plan to do a lot more. I think I've got, can you own a sawn off in the UK coming up soon? So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you soon.